Tracy McHenry had a scholarship to play basketball in Iowa, but had to give it up when she became pregnant. McHenry decided to continue her education and basketball career at Milwaukee Area Technical College, where she's a three-point student, a full-time mom, and works to take care of her son, Kyrie. Since I've had Kyrie, my life has changed a lot. Um, a lot of things that I would be able to just go and do, now I have to think about Kyrie. I have to find babysitters. I have to just put him before myself at all times. I have to manage my money better, because usually I would just go out and just buy whatever I want to buy, but now I have to make sure I have enough money for Kyrie. My social life, I can't just go out and, you know, have fun with my friends. A lot of the times Kyrie have to come with me because I don't trust a lot of people watching him. If my dad is busy, then Kyrie's included in all of my plans. I think one of Ashley's biggest areas that she has grown in is her maturity level. Um, you can see from a mom perspective, she accepts the daily responsibilities of being a mom, um, a full-time mom, a full-time student and a full-time athlete, but just watching her grow up and mature into a young lady um, has been the biggest attribute for us as coaches. Um, but her development on the court, I mean, she's a, she's a gifted athlete and she's got an opportunity to do whatever she wants to do with her, with her athletic career. Um, but as far as a maturity level and watching her grow up as a mom, I think that's been the most rewarding part. Just watching her go from being a young, young student to now a young mother and kind of having it in, have, be in control of her own destiny and now just not her destiny, but her destiny and Kyrie's destiny. I'm not where I thought I would be when I turned 21 with basketball. Um, it slowed my process down a little. I'm still playing. I just have to bring Kyrie to practice with me, find people to watch in the games, which is hard sometimes. But yeah, this made me grow up a lot faster than I thought I would have to grow up. When you look at the, the, the responsibility that she has and, and what she has to go through on a daily basis just to come to school, it's not just getting herself up and getting herself ready, doing her homework and going through all that stuff. You know, you have to have a regimented schedule where, okay, I'm up by this time, I have to get Kyrie to the sitter because I have class at eight. And she may have gotten home from a late game. We may have gotten back at 12.30 that night before from a late game. Just having the discipline to be able to get up, take, that, take your, your son to daycare, make sure you got all your homework done, everything done from the night before, from the day before. Um, that says a lot to the rest of the team. You know, when you're single and you're by yourself, you have only three people to answer to, is me, myself, and I. Well, now you have, now you have a son. Now you have to answer to me, myself, and I, and to him, and schedule yourself around it. So I think time management from her perspective um, is huge, and the team actually, I believe, plays off of that. A lot of times when I feel as though I might want to give up, my team keeps me going. Um, they're very supportive, and they always give me good advice. I have a strong relationship with God, so by faith, I'm, you know, I just stay positive and keep faith. And at the end of the day, I just keep going. Uh, I think the team accepts Ashley as, a, as another sister, and, and Kyrie's accepted as, a, as their sibling. You see them all the time, different players will pick up Kyrie. Um, and. And they know the situation with her, the situation that it sometimes, you know, her schedule doesn't quite match what, what our demands are for, uh, for a team and our practice schedules. She, she might be a couple minutes late because she's got to pick up Kyrie from um, her daycare. Um, in today's society, there's so many single parents, and for us to help out um, athletes get to where they want to be, um, we have to adapt. We allow. Um, like in the case with Ashley, we allow Kyrie in practice and we're like his extended family. If I had to give advice to someone who was going through what I'm going through right now, I would say don't give up. You can finish school, you can finish doing whatever you were doing before you got pregnant. It makes it harder, you have to stay strong, but at the end of the day, it can happen.